Yo, what is going on YouTube? Sharp here, bringing you guys into another video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today, we're going to be going over the Uzi. Is it a mini Uzi? It's not a mini Uzi. We're just, we're, we're going over Papa Uzi here. We're going to be talking about the class setup that I use. I got gold on it, as you can see it laying on the table. Um, and I'm just going to tell you guys what I think of this gun. Before we get into it, the class setup, uh, as you guys see, monolithic suppressor, the 16.5 factory carbine barrel, the FF s close stock uh under barrel is the range four grip and the rear grip is the stipled grip tape so that's the class i've been running with the uzi yeah let's just get into a game and talk about the uzi a little bit and some some uh, leaks that have been announced with call of duty so there was a patch in the call of duty and some of the patch notes goes over uh the changes to claymores you can now stun a claymore uh, and it'll disable it for three seconds, which I think they still need to do more to the claymore. I'm not really fully on board with the fact that that's all you can do to a claymore, stun it. Like half the time, I can't even shoot it through a wall to destroy it. Uh, and, and a lot of times I find myself running into claymores and not being able to get by them because like the wall's protecting them. My only way to get by them is to run through it and blow it up. Like you can't run past it and then juke it real quick and run back. Like it still kills you. I think they still need to do some tuning up to the claymores. Uh, they removed battle chatter in one life mode such as search and destroy so when you're playing search your character is like over there shit like that i like how wait did my care bro my character got a head start what i was able to run before the game even started am i tripping so those are a couple big updates to the game but uh, another thing that i've seen charlie intel tweet is that there are leaked maps 38 unreleased maps were leaked people go into the code files of the game and pretty much the same way they found out all the, the CDL team names. The same thing they do with Fortnite where they find out all the new skins coming and they get all the patch updates. They, they do the same thing with Call of Duty. Yeah, they found 38 unreleased maps. Uh, I'll, I'll put the list on screen. I'm not going to sit here and read off 38 maps. But uh, some notable ones are Crash and Rust. And also one of them that I saw that was called Layover, which Layover is a term for, you know, that, that's used in airports. So is that the possibility of a terminal remake coming back? If so, I'm excited for that. Uh, always a big fan of remake maps, especially the good maps. I think that's great if they actually are adding all those maps to the game. But even though I know like the game just came out and people are like, wow, dude, they already have to add that many maps. Like, I think it's a good thing. It shows that they're wanting to add more content to the game and, and hopefully they continue with that trend. And, and hopefully this isn't just some rumor and, and those maps never come out because that would be really disappointing. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What map are you most excited for? Let's talk about this Uzi. Look, we got gold on it. She's looking nice. I just, okay. I'm over here looking at my camo and you're gunning me down in a library. Who kills someone in a library? That is fucked up. But yeah, so far, honestly, I think the Uzi is the worst of machine gun. The gold camo on it looks the nicest. I haven't gotten gold camo for the Bison or the MP7 yet. So, so far, the Uzi probably has the nicest gold camo. Dude on the scaffolding, you can't kill him through that. I don't even know where I'm dying from anymore. Just activate this dead sound, get up in here. Get in these cheeks, baby. What's good? Oh man, where's, where's my team at? Bro, my team, zero kill, zero kills, one kill, one kill. They're just straight sleeping on the map. You go in solo, you get some people that really just be scratching their ass while they're playing. I mean, you play with a squad and sometimes you get that as well, but it just depends on who your squad is. I would say the Uzi is definitely the worst gun, uh, just all around. I mean, th this is a slower shooting Uzi compared to the Uzis of the past. The, the damage and the range on it just really isn't up to par with any of the other submachine guns at all. Uh, it, it's just, I don't know. I, I, this gun right here is the one that gave me the most struggles. I was really going through it when I was streaming, trying to get gold on it. The challenge of getting kills with no attachments was actually pissing me off because when you play this game, you play against everyone just using M4s, sweating their ass off. So that's what makes getting camo challenges a lot harder because, you know, you're not sweating your ass off. You're sitting here using no attachments. That is the struggle. But as you see, like, how many hit markers I just got on that guy? Bro, I know I'm shooting him through a tarp, and, and tarps are really strong these days. But, like, come on. Any other gun, that guy would have been dead. This dude's hiding in a bus. He's probably going to shit. Like, you're never winning that gunfight with the Uzi. Never, ever, ever going to win that gunfight. Even if he has an AR, submachine gun, probably even if he has a shotgun or a ride shield, you're probably still going to get outgunned. It's just, that's how bad the Uzi is. So, I don't really see myself ever rocking the Uzi ever again now that i got gold i definitely think like 
I've used the bison. I've used I've used every sub now. And I'll probably do like a full on what subs the best when I do when I get platinum camo for them. I still gotta do a bison video and an MP7 video. Once I get gold on all the guns, I'll 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 drop my, my video on which sub I think is the best. Okay, now I'm getting stung. Is he just sitting over here hugging the bus? So yeah, that'll be coming that'll be coming real soon. You guys also seem to like Ah, oh, dude. This right here, you know what? Honestly, here, here's my problem with this game. Something that I think would fix this game is if they came out with a way to incentivize people to win the game. There's no incentive for these guys to leave their spawn. Like, I'm 6 and 10, I'm winning. This dude is sitting here holding this aim. Died to notice his bulge, I think, the whole game. This guy's bulge, oh my god. This guy's bulge has been putting me down all day pause there's no incentive for this guy to make any type of moves on the map because he's getting kills his individual stats are looking nice he's completing what like this guy what 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 incentive does this guy have to leave this what is he doing what is he aiming at how does he know how does he even know i'm coming right there excuse me he was like tracing me through the wall but here's the problem they need to have like monthly challenges listen to this i don't know how many games would be reasonable but what is this guy capturing the D flag? Is there a D flag on this side of the map that this guy's getting? If there were monthly challenges and it was to, I don't know how many games would be reasonable because I don't even know how many games I win in a month and, and I would consider myself a grinder. So I think it would need to be an amount that's not like too grindy, but also you couldn't just accidentally get it by getting lucky and getting put on teams. But hear me out. Imagine if people unlock, dude, this guy's mounting a sofa this dude is literally mounting and fucking that sofa as he's killing me oh wow look they barely cat b if they added something in the game it was monthly where it incentivized people to win it said win like 100 domination games in a month which i think that sounds that sounds like a lot of games to win but you know what i mean give make it a reasonable amount i mean obviously they have all the statistics they know how many games people win on average and maybe they could bump take the average and, and bump the average up so like say if on average say the average person plays 100 domination games a month and wins 30 make it like win 60 domination games this month and you unlock a special charm or a special camo or something something that that incentivizes people to win and, and make it like a clear-cut challenge it says like hey play for the win because that's the problem with this game people complain about campers people complain about the maps Bro, look at this. What is this guy still doing in here? Look at you. What are you doing? You're getting nothing from this. He's throwing C4 in front of him. They have B now. How? A little too late, though. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I mean, I think that is, to me, the biggest problem with this game is the fact that it's just, like, I've died to this guy's bulge camping in this. He hasn't left this library all game. If someone on his team didn't go out there, like, and he's 20 and 6, so, he, like I said, he's probably having the time of his life. If someone didn't go out there and capture B flag for him, he would just lose and that would be that. He's still gonna lose. Like they have to three cap to win. You sit here and you play for the objective and, and you just sit here and die over and over and over and over and over again to that guy that's camping like that. And, and I think another problem is like, they need to release Hardpoint. Hardpoint needs to be released to public matches. I don't know. I mean, they just added kill confirmed, so it's gotta be coming. Um, I don't I don't like playing. I stopped playing domination for this reason exactly. People stop playing the objective and literally just yeah they just play for kills everyone just plays for kd they play to try to get a high kill game and, and that's it there's really just no like look they didn't even defend their flag where, like where is this guy he's still sitting in the library you got this ass clown coming out here to the to the fountain like doing you're doing nothing dog you ain't doing anything i just beat y'all with an uzi sorry i feel like i just went on a really long tangent on this guy camping in a library i apologize but i feel like that needed to be said let me know i mean i think that's a good idea they need to have something in this game that makes people strive to be better play for the win apparently just the fact of of trying to win a game is not enough anymore i feel like xp is not enough anymore anyway because i feel like all people care about is how many kills they get and what their kd is i went 12 and 17 obviously uh that doesn't look good i mean the uzi sucks i'm gonna upload this anyway because i don't give a fuck uh I know I'm better than all those kids. Y'all heard it here first. I have an ego. It's fine. Those kids are shit. See me on MLG, baby. With my drunk uncle. It's, it's ridiculous to me.
you know? I, I think that's why a lot of people are complaining about camping because you know it's it's reward they reward it in this game and, and they need to stop rewarding it. So that's pretty much it for my Uzi video. Like I said, the gun sucks. I'll probably never use it again. Uh, we're gonna be tucking it away in our back pocket and and we're gonna call it that. So. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below everything that I ranted about in this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys drop a like. I am doing a subathon today. Twitch.tv slash sharp. Come by. Drop your Twitch prom sub. Every sub extends the stream five minutes. So come on by. Twitch.tv slash sharp. Appreciate it. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.